Hi everyone, it's Amy, and yes, I am a Gen Z. So, I don't know what this video is. I had an idea, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna play with some childhood games or toys and just figure it out as I go on. I still don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, basically, I had an idea, and I was like, there's a lot of nostalgia coming around, and everybody's bringing back some bleaching, some tie-dye, and I was like, you know what? I haven't seen anybody like bring back childhood toys. So I was thinking, and I got some toys and games that I used to play when I was little, and by little, I meant like a couple of years ago. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so for the first childhood game nostalgia activity, I don't know what this is, um, is this game, it's called Scramble. I need to preface that I was an only child, so I used to play a lot of these games and or um, activities, since they're over here, by myself or with my parents. Since I don't want to play with anybody else, I'm going to play it by myself. You know, this game is all about anxiety and uh, basically fit all of these, they're different shapes and stuff, into the little cube spaces and um, finish it before the timer runs out and this gives you a heart attack so uh, if you have heart problems I do not recommend playing this so uh, since I don't have anybody else to play with I'm gonna play this by myself this is really old by the way this is like 2008 2000 yeah 2008 let me just say 2006 2008 between those okay so I'm gonna do 70 seconds and three two one <laughs> go I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm not fine, I'm not fine, I'm, I'm actually really not fine, you know? This is a children's game, by the way. I didn't press it down. I'm pressing it down now. I have 10 seconds. It's not, it's gonna blow up in my face. It's going, it's slowing down, it's slowing down. I just this. And that's the game. The age limit is five and up. Let's just do a solo one. Okay, three, two, one, go. That's not fitting. Where's the other one? Right here. Get in, off. And that's how you win the game. Okay. That is one of the childhood games I used to play when I was little. Okay, let's go into our next nostalgia. Still don't know, I'm trying to figure it out as I go. Um, nostalgia, fun, blast from the past, uh, activity. So let's get back. So this is a lot going on. So I'm gonna do one by one. So I used to play with these all the time. These are My Little Pony. I really don't, these aren't My Little Pony but I think they are, but I don't know. This is a My Little Pony. This is a I Don't Know Little Pony. Okay, so yeah, I used to play with these all the time. I have like a collection of them. These eyes are terrifying. Like, look at that. Okay, and I have a little tiny one. Now, these, these are so freaking cool. So I, I know these are from a, from a McDonald's toy because I just know. I remember these. Okay, you just pop it out. There you go. They're, they're so old. You know, nostalgia. This is gonna be really weird because I have a lot of these toys, but it's because, you know, memories. So, 2011, I don't know what age I was. Six, seven, I don't know. Six or seven, somewhere around those ages. Next comes Littlest Pet Shop. Before I have this actual Littlest Pet Shop thing, like the actual, Toy. I have these. I don't know what these are. I think they're Lilith's Pet Shop, but I have a whole bunch of these. I don't have the rest of them. I only have these two because they were on the toy set thing. But yeah, I used to play a lot of these by myself with the two friends I had. And then it came along the actual real Lilith's Pet Shop toy thing set. This is a really boring video for most of you, okay? Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just 
pulling out toys from when I was little and games and just saying, hey, look, I did this when I was five. I used to play with Little Lost Pet Shop toys between eight and 10, uh, I think. Next on this, <laughs> it's gonna be Barbie. So, so this is the Barbie doll. This represents Barbies because I don't have any. So, I don't even know why I still have this. I wish I got rid of this thing, but I didn't. For some reason, I think I lost it, but then I found it in a bunch of boxes. This represents Barbies, all, all the Barbies, and I used to play with Barbies when I was like five till 10, when I was playing with Little Lisbeth Shop. I, I think I used to play with both of them at the same time. I don't really remember. This is literally how 2020 is going with me right now. I guess I'm a toy review channel. On with the next activity slash fun game slash nostalgia slash I don't remember what I was saying. Um, let's just get into the next thing. Okay, next came these. Okay, so I remember I used to make keychains with this, and people would be like, Amy, can you please start it for me? And I would be like, Yes, of course. I know you're not as amazing as I am for this. So of course I will start it for you. I don't know what I'm doing. I remember now, I remember now, okay. You know what, I'm gonna put a picture up. That's the picture, that's what it's supposed to be, okay? I wish I remember how to start it, because I really don't remember. Yeah, no, I don't remember, this is stressing me out. So, I guess on with the next activity thing. So then, I was obsessed with making duct tape things. I made purses, I made wallets, so of course I brought scissors, safety scissors by the way, and I really don't know where I'm going with this. This is where my lack of patience comes in because I want everything to be exact. I used to make these and give them to people and ask them if uh, they could be my friends and they said no. I'm gonna make a little like pocket, you know? I had a really boring childhood, okay? If you guys are gonna come at me and be like, oh my god, you forgot about this thing. Oh my god, you forgot about that thing. Well, guess what? This is my childhood. I'm gonna talk about myself. I was an only child. I am an only child. Oh my god, I'm gonna make a purse. This is gonna be so cute. So yeah, I was an only child. I am an only child. I played Barbies by myself. I used to play My Little Pony, the Littlest Pet Shop. I by myself, used to create stories because that's what an only child does, okay? So don't don't blame me if I had a boring childhood compared to you and this isn't exactly what you did when you were little because this is what I did when I was little, okay? There we go, I made my little purse. Let, let me give you a haul. So um, you have a little foldy thing and now you slid up and it's a little pocket and you put stuff in it. Wow, efficiency. Now we're on with the next, I don't remember what, let's just put it on the, the screen. On with the next that. Okay, so this is a lot to unpack. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana came out in 2006 and she created this cookbook. So let's, let's just go through it. I wanted to be her. This is my face when I dreamt of being in Montana and I couldn't. Should I make some recipes from this? I'm making a whole breakfast with this, you know? Origami. I don't do origami now because I don't understand it anymore. But when I was little, I used to do some origami because <laughs> I was bored. Let's uh, fold something. Valley fold, don't know what that means. Now I have to undo it to read. I have to, what, but I can't read it anymore. This is supposed to be a dog. Now, now I have my iPod. I've had my iPod since 2014. It's been through a lot, okay? Like, okay, so this is my iPod. If you can't see it, it says iPod. I blinged it. I also had this blinging kit, which was my jam. I, I need a, pic, a picture, picture. Hopefully I, I have a picture right here of the blinging kit that I bought from Toys R Us. Okay, I, that's where I bought it and that's where I made this little um, flower thing. iPhone has developed 
humongously, I don't even know, enormously, bigly, I don't know. It's evolved a lot. The only options for the camera is the grid. And the grid just shows you if everything is centered or not. There's no facial recognition, there's no fingerprint access, there's none of that. I can't download Netflix, I can't download Twitter, I can't download Instagram because it's so out of date. This is literally my childhood. This and Claire's because Claire's, actually Claire's never had cases for this, for like iPod fourth generation. They never had cases. And obviously my uh, uh, Wii, which I still have, it's over there but I'm not gonna bring it over here because it's connected to my TV. That was my whole childhood, just playing video games. So let's get on to our next, I think this is gonna be the final one. I'm just gonna put them to activity, nostalgia, games, activities. I think I said it twice. That, so this is my final, um, my final two nostalgia thing. Let's just, let's go over it first before I start like actually diving in. So Paracord. Paracord was an era for me because I also tried to sell these. Uh, they never popped off, but uh, I still like to do them. So this would be 2015. I was 10, nine, I was nine or 10. And now Rainbow Loom. So Rainbow Loom, I used to do Rainbow Loom a lot. 2013, actually 2012, I was in third grade. I was seven. I think it was an era for everybody, you know, like, oh my God, I'm gonna, have you done a fishtail bracelet? I don't know why it got so popular at all. It was literally just rubber bands over this loom thing. And you just make random stuff. The only reason I watched YouTube was for the Rainbow Loom video tutorials. But I remember I used to love Rainbow Loom. I'm ripping it off. Wow, it didn't even stay for like two seconds. Okay, here's my masterpiece of my rainbow loom. Paracord, paracord, big, big fan, big fan, you know? Fun, fun times. It's just a whole bunch of like knots. Oh, I'm not going any further because I don't have that. I really didn't pop properly, like do it at all. And it would be a cute bracelet. That is, my childhood, of course, I might have forgotten some things because I don't have all of them. But let's just let's just talk for a bit, okay? I have a feeling that I haven't actually talked to a child before, you know, like a kid, like a third grade kid, because I feel like they all have iPhone X, iPhone 11s. I was one of those kids that had a flip phone. Also, I enjoyed the fresh air. I don't think that kids that were born like in 2018 or 2000, I don't know, early 2000s kids and late 2000s kids, I feel like they're so different. Are they just on their phone watching TikTok dances and Charlie D'Amelio? Like, is that something that they do? I'm not gonna get on this rant because I feel like I can get very heated on this type of topic. I just wanted to make this video, I guess, now that I finally understand what I'm trying to do. Um, because it was just a random idea. I was like, what if I just play with some toys and enjoy things when I was little, if that makes any sense. It's so weird thinking like in a couple of years, I'm going to be in an adult. 18 would be an adult, I don't know. It's so weird thinking that just because I remember these, like they were yesterday and now they're not yesterday, they were 10 years ago and yeah. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything. And I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.